Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Truck of Tomorrow series, Race 13. We just came off of our uh, truck championship mode at Charlotte, and now it's time to go to the Roble. So, we have a doozy for you. 50 laps here in the truck series, 5 off of what the Xfinity series is, and apparently pull is a 120.0. That may sound... Oh, man, you practice a one second and... 8 tenths off, how are you going to do in qualifying? You're going to be so far back in the pack. Qualifying doesn't mean jack at road courses. So yeah, uh, what is, let's just go to the track now and start a quality run. Go, go, go! That was only the second race. Bristol is fun, but like, I wouldn't know about manual restarts, you know? That sounds awful. In terms of like, uh, online lobbies, like, so much confusion, you know? It's like, oh, I was here. No, I was here. So, yeah. 50 laps here at the Robo. I'm looking forward to it. Chat, who likes the Robo in this game? I love the Robo. Try to build up some momentum as much as possible. Put some heat in the tires, break a little layer. I think I went far too slow there, but it's a good thing this is only the warm-up lap. Smitten, you do? I love the Robo in this game. So much better than P3s. Like, the difference is actually insane. Uh, not the best uh, entry into the uh, start finish straight, but I want to see who gets the uh, extra bonus point for getting pole. I know it's not going to be me because um, because I will probably not get into the 120s, especially after I hit the wall like that. It's a good thing it didn't give me any damage. Man, where was this in practice? I thought you work out the kinks in practice so you can have a good quality and race. It's not your favorite, but it's uh, not bad once you get used to the hang of it. Yeah, I definitely agree. Like, I thought the Robo was going to be a challenge. Like, a genuine challenge as uh, when I first... Uh, got this game, but the more I race it and the more I practice, it's actually fun and easy. I'm seeing all uh, Roval lovers in chat. Man, if only if NASCAR can actually have more uh, Rovals in this game. Ooh, that did not... Let's see where that put you. Ah, that really hurt me there. I got caught up on, uh, I got caught up on the, uh, the curving right there, and that just flung me. That would have gave me a, a top ten if I would have nailed my, uh, practice lap. It would have given me ninth, and Parker Clickerman, of course Brett Moffitt's up here. Why not? Yeah, it's definitely better than E3, I'll say that. So, yeah, Brett Moffitt got the lucky extra point, and Johnny Sauter, my two championship rivals, are right in the front. Oh, okay, whatever. Whatever. We deal with it. We deal. Wheeler dealers. Anyway, so I guess we get uh, promoted two positions. So I guess that's good. So yeah, chat, without further ado, let's get this roll started. Johnny on pole. Oh, what happened to Brett? He crashed during qualifying, then how'd he get a pole? That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, good point, Race. You're going to head off for the night. Baseball fan, thank you so much for the follow, my dude. Have a great rest of the night. All right, Thanks for stopping out. Going green. So you want to be super ready. careful in, uh, in the first turn here. Like, break early. They will stack on up. I am three wide. I have to really be careful here. Left. 
Here we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Careful, still there. Right side. Right side's clear. Oh man, Johnny is already so far ahead. Stay right. I'm trying to get this with without any damage because any bit of damage is just gonna slow me down, so. It's gonna be a drag race to uh, the bus stop. But if I can get in front of Parker Kligerman, I can guarantee he's gonna be uh, a just a thorn in everyone's side as uh, as uh, the faster trucks. Oh my god! Give Harrison Burton some space. Jesus, he just dive bombed the bus stop. That's one thing we have to work, look out for: is uh, trucks dive bombing. Now. I want to have a car left. Oh my god. Harrison Burton, what are you doing? Alright, you're clear. That gave me front end uh whatever. Way to go, Harrison. I thought you were smarter than that. I'm just getting bullied today. I know the more we spread on out, the better we'll be, so. That's a lot of damage. Still there. I mean, like, seriously, like, that is, uh, that's just the beauty of the AI and not knowing, uh, not knowing that the player cannot, uh, break on a dime like they can. But that's fine. We're already up in the P12. It's fine. We're good. Essentially, we're just back in our original quali qualifying spot. Not a big deal. We have Parker Cleveland trying to make a move on uh, Gustine, and Ben Rhodes trying to get a, uh, make a move on uh, Ross. We'll try to make a move on Ben Rhodes. Stay near left. All right, you're clear. Easy. Trying to move, make a move. Nope. I definitely don't want, do not want to go side by side. Right side, right side. All right, you're clear. Okay, right that was side, right side. cleaner. All right, you're clear. Ben Rose is trying to solidify his uh, spot in the playoffs here. So is so is Ross, and with a finish uh, like he did at... My God, that did a lot of damage to me. All clear. 93% damage is uh, what we're at right now. There we go. Get a good run on Parker. Right side. We're on the inside. There we go. It's really right gonna made the whole season without one DNF. Really? That's a stat I had no idea about. Still there. Car left. All clear. Kind of just slide in front of uh, Gustine. But as we're getting out of the bus stop, Johnny Sauter is flying through the start finish line. He is just flying right now. And like I said, he's a championship rival. We got to get up there. Well, we don't do it like that. Locking up into uh, the last, uh, the last chicane. It's just sad that I didn't think it was possible. I mean, honestly, that's impressive. I had no idea. Was he the only person that did it? Or was there uh, someone that sneaked, that squeaked on through without, uh, also without a DNF? The sixth race of the season uh, is the Roval. I wonder how, uh, how that will go. Uh, be prepared for a lot of people uh, blowing through the final chicane and uh, the bus stop right here. 
because I feel like I'm more familiar with the uh, chicane right here than I am the uh, the final chicane. Oh man, but that's insane. I didn't even think that was uh, possible. Not to just copy what you said, but like... That is a... Oh yeah, I know Kyle's was uh, uh, Fall Talladega, so... When was uh, Denny's? Was that, um... Was that uh, Daytona? The one that Justin Haley won? Ooh. That wasn't fun. Alright, so yeah. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere because Gustine's behind us and holding up the rest of the field. Austin Hill's in front of us, pulling away. I'm sure it was a restrictor play because, like, it's, it seems like one of those races that, uh, like, especially with that kind of stat, um, where it'd be a uh, restrictor play. If not, it may have been uh, Spring Talladega. The one that Chase won. And Larson went rolling. Okay. So, yeah, we're good. We're good. Any Road America lovers in uh, chat? If you could add one road course to the uh, to the Cup Series, what would it be? The reason I'm asking any Road America lovers is because I would add Road America. But that's just me. Oh, I guess we're gaining on Austin Hill. Oh, and Harrison Burton is actually uh, gaining on Gustine. Side by side. Oh, and passed. Cool. So he'll be joining me here soon. new uh, fastest lap of the race. Well, no, I'm not sure of the race, but like, new personal best. Well, when I say like personal best, I mean like of the race. Oh, then let me tell you about... did. Did, does anyone else remember the uh, the the truck uh, Daytona race this year? Literally, at the end of the race, there was only like five trucks that could actually compete for the win. Austin Hill somehow won the race, and Matt Crafton still didn't win. After avoiding like half a dozen wrecks, he still didn't win. That was a good final chicane right there. I'm about to say that I knew that was going to be a uh, fast slap right there. Get a streak. Whoa, got really loose. Street course count and some street courses in Houston. Hmm. Honestly, well, you know, there's that whole talk that, like, should NASCAR go uh, to street course racing. And honestly, 
there's some merit to it, but I am, I, I don't know, that's a, that's a big uh, question, honestly. Almost just cream that wall, by the way. All right, so chat. Uh, the front runners are getting extremely spread on out. Um, the back runners are getting held up by each other. So we're gonna have a doozy when uh, the leaders eventually uh, catch them. How about Laguna Seca? Well, I, I think the corkscrew would be uh, really, uh, like, out of a NASCAR's area of expertise, you know what I mean? Because I feel like that would be, like, so aerodynamically unsound, you know? Or am I, am I wrong on that? Is there any engineers in chat? I wonder where Brett Moffat is. I'm sure Brett Moffat's trying to get through, uh... Trying to get through all of those. I still can't believe, uh, Brett Moffat won pool and then... The game had the gall to just be like, uh, no, actually, he crashed during qualifying. Literally just being straight up and just being like false. Road Atlanta, I'd be 100% okay with. That's cool. Not an engineer, but I do like NASCAR. I have played uh, Kerbal Space Program, so that makes me uh, qualify an qualified engineer. How am I doing to Harrison? Oh, no, he's gaining on me. But good news is we're uh, gaining on Austin Hill, so... Little victories. And we're actually holding steady with uh, Mike Snyder. This is actually our first, uh, this is actually our first, uh, roll course of the season. I'm actually really looking forward to it. Did I get Supercross while it was free? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. That was honestly the last thing on my mind. I am, s I also kind of forgot about it, because I know, Chad, you guys told me about it, and I just straight up forgot. Circuit of the Americas would be pretty good. I'd be okay with that, honestly. Circuit of the Americas would... It would have to be, like, something along the lines of, like, a... Uh, um, like an Xfinity-style uh, type of race, uh, Road America, where it's very short in length. Because Circuit of the Americas is actually kind of long. How are we doing on fuel? 18 laps? Oof. Slow down far too much for, uh, for that corner. There's a shorter version of the track, do you th but do you think they use it, though? Because I think there's a possibility they would, but, like, then you'd have fans just like, well, why can't we use a full layout? Because it's like a whole Sonoma situation. Like, you know, we have the carousel. Why don't we use it? 
I almost just straight up went head on to the heartburn turn. Looks like Krishnek has finally broke through. Honestly, this is a one-stop kind of race, chat. This is... Ugh, oh, that was... That did not feel good. Very off-camber. St. Petersburg for a street course? Now that, it'd be... Divine. I, in terms of street course, I was thinking about, like, Detroit. Because, you know, the whole, uh... Being it with the Motor City and all that. Kind of a kind of knock out two birds with one stone with a uh, IndyCar uh, NASCAR doubleheader. But I feel like, in terms of street courses, NASCAR would try it with the Xfinity Series before uh, Cup, if you ask me. Because I feel like they wouldn't... I feel like they wouldn't just, like, throw uh, everyone uh, headlong, headlong into the pool, into the deep end, without some kind of plan. Any track in Louisiana... I, I can I can see that. Any recommendations? Or do we just go the uh, Bill France route and just build one? Like he did with Dega. I doing to my uh, 9.8 Christian Eckes I'm losing a lot of time too Harrison burn we're kind of just breaking even with okay all right we're doing good Nola Did you bring back Rock, The Rock? I would definitely agree with you there. Like, um... Is... I'm not familiar with Nola, first of all. Let me go back to that. Is Nola a, uh... A, uh, road course or a, uh... Short track? Speedway? Well, not, not only that, but there's a huge talk that, like, you know, Nat Cup should go on dirt and all that. I feel like they would test out with the Xfinity Series before uh, the Cup Series. IndyCar went to NOLA. Oh, huh, interesting. But, you know, I'd be 100% okay with them bringing back The Rock. The Rock was one of those tracks that, like, was literally... You had to have a lot of skill in order to conquer it. No one's a road course? Interesting. Louisiana, short track. Oh, um, which one is it? Is it a short track or a road course? Good news is, chat, we finally uh, have seen another driver. So we have that going for us. It's a road course, okay. And he said IndyCar went to NOLA? When? When was that? That'd be cool. I, like, I'm just not familiar with NOLA. NOLA. I'm just trying to get info on it. Because if IndyCar went on it, I'd be okay with anything. I'd be okay with Cup going to Iowa. Hell. Oh, okay. I see. You made, it, you made that up, NASCAR. Fifteen? Really? That that short ago? That's not a long time at all. I 
I did not know that. It was only like a hop, skip, and a jump ago. And we're also getting a Myatt Snyder. Oh, in Milwaukee, the Milwaukee Mile? Oh, man. Now, that was some good memories. I do remember watching uh, in both IndyCar and uh, um, NASCAR when they went to Milwaukee. Oh, first caution. So everyone's pitting. I feel like I I can't just. Mm, do I ever just not pit here? No, I'm gonna need the tires. I also need these uh, the damage repair. I'm gonna loosen up this uh, tick. Yeah, I, I gotta I gotta pitch. I think Sheldon Creed's out of this race, so. And we gained a position. Hey, <laughs> hot damn. Coming to the green, driver. Almost ready. Hammer down, green's out. Right, right. Side. Still gotta really be careful about, uh... Hold your line, oh, driver. Random stopping, and Ben Rose just throwing left it. Side, left side. Throwing it down out of, uh... Turn one. Not even a care in the gosh dang world. Holy crap. Now, the thing is... The uh, thing is, Chad, we won't be able to make it the rest of the way on fuel. We'll have to do a stop and go at some point. So that's a little bit worrying. But knowing me and talking about it... Um, I will probably get a, uh, probably get a caution, like, right before we about to, we're about to pit, so. Right side. Ben Rhodes trying to be sneaky. It's not really working out. Oh, I should check where Brett Moffitt was. I see Stuart Friesen all the way back there. Right side, right side. Oh, terrible corner. Terrible. No one else no one else to blame but me on that left one. Side, left side. Gotta give Ben Rhodes room. Left side, left side. All clear. All right, NASCAR, have a great re the rest of the night. Thank you so much for stopping on out. Ooh, it's, he goes wide. All right, well, chat, we have three to go at the completion of this lap. Honestly, I feel like we're doing pretty good. Up here in the top ten. My center took some big air right there going into uh, the bus stop. Yep, see you later, man. Take care. Get ahead of Ben Rhodes. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Go airborne twice. Harrison Burton trying to get alongside uh, Austin Wayne Cell, but not really anything going on there. All right. Looks like Johnny Sauter isn't as dominant as he was.
Uh, that gave me damage. I knew that would give me a low tap like that always gives me damage. Damn. I wanted to keep my nose clean, but here we are. Start talking about uh, your fuel to get a caution. Yes, you're right, Sven. All right, so we have 26 to go, and at, we have uh, 30 laps to go. Okay. Like, the thing is, everyone pit under that caution. I'm just like, well, I can't just stay out and uh, on uh, these old tires. I'm going to get eaten alive. So, like, here I am. We have to talk about our fuel in order to actually make it the rest of the way. Ooh, that did not feel good, getting off that corner. But yeah, chat, you all know that uh, when I start talking about my fuel or my tires, a caution order comes out and takes away the joy that uh, that one gets from uh, having a fuel mileage race. I'm trying to get past Harrison Burton here, and we actually do get a good run on that corner. And as we move on to the actual track itself, there we are. Kind of protect my line just in case there's any cheeky dive bombers. I'm gonna stick to the inside here. Looks like Austin Hill's getting eaten alive. Stay to your left. Whoa, Austin Hill, calm down. Right side, right side. Right side Jeez, right side. what a cluster that is. Harrison Burton threw it down and sort of Ben Rhodes. Jesus. I'm like Mark Martin. I was like, why are these young guns just throwing it down? Why can't we... Uh, what are we playing? Ping pong or racing? The thing is, Chad, that's all the AI. That was not me at all. Right side. All clear. Car left. Clear left. Right side, right side. Can I get two for one here? All clear. Trying to get the inside of Austin Hill as well? Nope. Okay. But as soon as my Snyder was free, oh my god, he is gone. He checked out immediately. And who is that behind? Is that Ross? In that white truck? I think that is. We'll be able to get Austin Hill somewhere in the uh, infield section. Car left. All clear. I want to say it's going to go into uh, the final set of corners. Just gets so loose getting off that corner sometimes. It really just messes up your traction. If I can nail that. Christian Eck is looking hungry back here. Christian Eckes is trying to fight his way back into uh, the playoffs after having a, such a good run at Kansas, the season opener. Top five, following it up with another top five. He was looking pretty good for already locking up a uh, playoff uh, spot with a win, but after DNFs and DNQs, he just has not had the pace recently. And I seriously do wonder where Brett Moffat is. That's just me, though. I always have to worry about my uh, championship rivals. Like, I am not happy about Johnny Sauter being uh, up in the lead, but uh, I guess we kind of have to deal with it.
Alright, get a good run here. And we're gonna swing. And then try to... Ah, tried. We tried. How are we looking on fuel? 22 laps? Yeah, we'll have to get a splash and go at some point. But I'm sure there's going to be another caution before uh, the end of the race. A little loose getting off that uh, first part of the uh, chicane, but straighten it back up and we're back to it. All right, half halfway down, halfway to go. Got a little wide right there, but don't worry about it, we're fine. Austin Hill is placing his truck exactly where he needs to, except for right here where I get it. Get a good run going into the actual uh, Charlotte part of the track, and here we are. Well, that means Johnny Sauer already locked up the uh, most laps led, so he gets a bonus point for the this championship. So even if he totally just falls on out and uh, blows an engine right now, at least he's going to get something from it. So many tire marks right there. You can tell someone's been going crazy right there with those tire marks. Chad, hypothetically, if I finish uh, P7, I... In race 11 of the uh, of this season, I finished in ninth. In uh, race 12, I finished eighth. And if I finish seventh here, that means I'm guaranteed a sixth place uh, next race. What do you think about the uh, 2018 Fall Martinsville finish? 2018, interesting. Um, I definitely think if you're in a position to go for it, then you should. However, you need to be consistent because, like, Truex was giving him a lot of room and he was being respectful, but at the same time, he left the door open and you're racing for a win, so you should expect it. I don't think I would ever do it, personally. But, uh, you have to at least expect it. And, uh, Truex left the door wide open. Oh, chat, I'm starting to feel the groove now. Twenty-three seconds. Actually, I think we're making time on uh I think we're making time on uh Johnny. What do you think of uh, the Martinsville finish there, Smitten? By the way, Chad, if you're just now joining, welcome. This is Race 13 of the Truck of Tomorrow series. Uh, essentially, our custom series that we do uh, usually every Friday, but we're having a uh, 200 follower celebration that day, so I kind of moved on up. If you're wondering what, man, what the heck is the Truck of Tomorrow series? Like I said, it is the 
custom series that I do every uh, every week that uh, I I keep track of my own points of the finishes. I have them all in a little data bank that I can go back and uh, give the stats for after. Uh, towards the end of the season, so be looking out for that. And uh, ooh, there we go. Uh, so we don't need to worry about pinning anymore. Brad Moffat's in 18th. Um, I definitely think uh, we pit here and obviously take uh, fours. You think uh, Joey was dirty for that move? I I definitely see where you're coming from. I'm just saying I don't agree with it. I don't think it should be should have been done, but you have to expect it. So who is the cause for the caution? Sheldon Creed was out of this race. Nice. It has to be for a uh, for a tire of some sort. So yeah, we'll take four and uh, we'll be on our merry way. And apparently we're in 24th now, so good talk. Coming to the green, driver. Oh, Almost this is going to suck. Green down, let's go. Car left. Apparently no one else took tires. Left side, left side. That's what I was talking about with that sack up. Car left. Got to look out for that. There's going to be a stack up here in this corner. Car left. Left side, left side. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, uh, Joey's just like, I'm just going to beat you out of the way. Still there. Stay right. Car left. Still there. Careful, still there. Del not gonna go uh, side by side here. Right side. All clear. I knew that was gonna give me damage. I was trying to give him a bump to hey get him going, but I guess he didn't want it. Right side clear. Gonna watch out for the uh right side, right side. Hold Knew line, it. Driver. Gustine. Trying to do the Ben Rhodes uh, move right here. I saw my uh, truck on the big screen and it kind of messed me up a little bit. All right, you're clear. Right side, right side. All right, you're clear. All right, so we're back here in 20th, which sucks, but you know, whatever, we deal with it. Taking four tires apparently is a uh, is a no-no when we have. Uh, 20 laps to go. All right, you're clear. Just gotta All race left. smarter, not harder here. Keep our head head on straight and keep it clean. Gustine's the most forgettable Young's Motorsport driver. Yeah. Got totally off on three wheels there. Right side. Right side, right side. Don't worry, man. I knew exactly what you're talking about. The thing hey Still chat, there. what happened to Sheldon Creed? Uh, not Sheldon Creed, um Uh Spencer Boyd. After he uh, won at Dega, he wasn't in the truck anymore. Does anyone know what happened, or...? 
Well, here's Brent Moffitt. Hopefully we can keep him back here as we move uh, forward. We're not running for the race win anymore, so there's that. We are trying to get back to our original position now. Get around the outside and kind of go a little deep. But yeah, Gustine is the most forgettable young motorsport driver. I remember um, when uh, they were doing a pre-race for the Daytona race uh, in a truck series, and they did a special on the young motorsports uh, drivers, and they were talking how Gus was actually like the uh, best out of all of them. I'm just like, okay, we'll see how he does this season. He does the worst. Because, you know, they're all just like, oh, yeah, well, I think I'm better, and like all that, you know, just joking around and all of a sudden, uh, bam. Kind of rough up, uh, Christian Eckes a little bit. Oh, okay. Can I get two for one here? Yes, I can. So yeah, Tyler Dipple. You got room. You're clear. Uh, yeah, Spencer Boyd who won, and <laughs> Tyler Dipple. Turns out with Dipple though, that was not his fault. I forget exactly what happened with the trial, but that was he was acquitted essentially, and he was reinstated. That wasn't his fault, which I thought was a little strange, but you know, whatever. Alright, so chat, we have 15 to go. We're in 14th right now. Trying for a top 10. Not with mistakes like that, I'll say that. But yeah, Tyler Dipple, I thank you for reminding me about him. I totally forgot that uh, he uh, had that going on. Chat, if you think about it, there was a lot of drama that happened over the uh, Truck Series season this year. There was Tyler Dipple with the whole drugs uh, going over to Canada. There was... Um, Austin Wayne Self, who got busted for using drugs. You have Johnny Sauter getting uh, uh, suspended for a race for intentionally taking out Austin Hill. You have racist slurs going on in uh, Matt Crafton's radio uh, at Bristol. <laughs> and then you have a surprise winner for the championship. Uh, KBM having no wins that was not Greg Biffle or, uh, or, um, KB himself. And, of course, uh, Thor Sport going and, uh, uh, basically imploding at, uh, Las Vegas. Chasing down Tyler Ingram for uh, 12th. Oh man, but if I can actually get up to uh, 10th, that looks like it goes all the way up to 5th. That is a huge pack up there. Essentially, I need to get I need to get going. What are my laps been looking like? Bad. Okay, let's pick up the pace a little bit then.
Not like that, but okay. Not that aggressively. I feel like that gives you damage each time you hit the turtles like that. I feel like it should give you damage then if it doesn't. Like it should crumple a uh, splitter or something like that. Is that Christian Eckes? Yeah, that is. Decent run out of the uh, out of the bus stop, but we are being held up by uh, Tyler Rankum. I don't want to just plow his uh, tailgate, so we're being a little bit cautious, maybe too cautious for our own good. We are going faster though, so I would say not faster than uh, Christian Eckes, but. We gotta make this pass happen. Sometime soon. Careful. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Careful, still there. All clear. You think you're uh, you think Boyd is staying with Young's Motorsports? Honestly, I feel like the truck series is home. Like Ty Majeski is another person I'm gonna be looking for throughout the entire season. Because Ty really showed improvement from uh, with all his lower series like Arca starts and all that. And with him being full time at Nice to take over for uh, Ross's truck, I mean I'm really looking forward to it and see what uh, we have in store. Slipped on the uh, on the uh, strip right there. Quick, um, in the Xfinity series, my eye is going to be on uh, well, besides Ross, because it will be his uh, first full-time season with actual good ride. Um, it'll be on Harrison Burton, and obviously the entire like JGR crew, so like Riley Earps and oh god, Riley Earps. Don't even get me started on him. Um, and uh, what's it called? I need to actually want to see how the rookies do in Cup. You know? Uh, Bell, uh, Reddick, John Hunter, and uh, Cole Custer. Nothing quite says uh, locking up the entire way down uh, <laughs> the back stretch, right? Tend to go this time, bye. Oh, that was a fast one. Is that a new fast slap? That is. New personal best. Get plenty of momentum and swing down this turn. Oh yeah, we are catching this pack, chat. We have Jordan Anderson and Natalie Deck Natalie Decker's in the top ten. We can't have this. What is this nonsense? How could this happen? What kind of black magic sorcery is she using?
But yeah, we have an entire big clump right here. If we get one, we'll basically get them all. And that looks to be all the way to fifth place. That is prime real estate right there. going for her first top 10. Oh, man. Yeah, I know. We need we need to keep uh, the dreams of the young and hopefuls down. So, yo, Sir Moses. Welcome back, man. Long time no see. Been a while, man. Yeah, Happy New Year, man. I'll be coming around on Saturday if, uh, if you're there. Have a good night, man. Don't know if you're staying or not for, uh, the rest of the race or not, but... Just in case. Yeah, she's going for her first top ten. We can't have that. We need to keep the uh, newbie squash. Uh, check. I don't know. Are you going to Rosemont? Oh, that's not how you take that corner. No, Christian Eckes. Left side. Ah, knew that was only a matter of time. Okay, well then, looks like I'll see you on Saturday then. Martins Motorsports needs a driver, so you tell me that Tommy Joe Martins is not going to drive his own car? Time to make some calls. Hey, hit me up. I uh, I play NASCAR Heat Four. I'm more than qualified. Not full time. Okay, so. I also heard that Landon Castle and Morgan Shepard are also looking for sponsorship. Which, that's uh, just the state of NASCAR. It's like, you know, no one wants to sponsor you if you're not winning a race, you know? And let's be honest, uh, <laughs> Morgan Shepard's team has not seen victory lane in quite some time. Yeah, Ekas is fast. What do we have here? Who is the leader of this train? Is it Austin Hill? I feel like it's Austin Hill. By the way, Austin Hill is still one less in this uh, series, so... He is definitely not going to be getting a uh, playoff spot anytime soon. But Nally Dagger actually making a move on Stuart Friesen. What a world we live in. Jesus. Who would have thunk? When I woke up today, I would not have uh, imagined Nally Decker making a move on a Stuart Friesen at the Roval. Going into... <laughs> going into the bus stop like that. Absolute insanity. Good move, okay. When opportunity strikes, right? There we go, good move on Ekis. Johnny Sauter is gone though. The thing is, Chad, it looks like he's stuck in traffic and let's let Johnny Sauter try to win this race. Uh, yeah, he's going in the bus stop right now. Oh, almost just. Did something tra absolutely tragic. Right side, right side. Trying to take a higher line to get as much momentum as possible.
There we go. This will be for P11. Still All looking right, for that top clear. 10. Which is right in front of us. Hopefully Johnny Sarr doesn't choke this race away. I mean, literally leading every single lap and, uh... Car left. All right, you're clear. Jesus, Christian Eckes, calm down. Alan Decker is a seven-time Cup Series champion. Yeah, I know, right? I can see the future. And when she gets to uh, the Cup Series, you know she's going to be the greatest. You now we're going to be hearing, Move over, I'm Jimmy Johnson, Dale Earnhardt, Richard Petty, this is a new seven-time champion in town. That was different. Something in my uh, headphone just popped. So that's not good. Well, that's not. That's not how you take that turn. Car left. Left side clear. You're not supposed to get loose off that corner. All right, are we gonna get slowed down enough for me to take that spot, or no? We have we have five to go. We kind of take this. Car left. Well, someone needs to tell Christian Eckes that. So uh, calm down, dude. All right. Well, I guess Natalie Decker's not gonna get her uh, top ten because we're about to take it. And we get, went down on the power way too early. Yeah. Oh my god, Christian, calm down, dude. You and your dive bombings need to stop. It allows Natalie to get away. That's probably the first time I've, I've ever actually had to say that. And Nally Decker is getting away. But three to go this time by. Looks like Johnny Sauter still in lap traffic. There is a... Very distinct possibility that uh, he is gonna choke this race. Right side, right side. My God, Christian Eckes needs to calm down. All right, Cozy, have a great night, my dude. All right, you're Thanks for stopping on out. And hey, congratulations on being a Twitch affiliate now. Welcome to the club. That was an abysmal lap. I locked it up going to the bus stop, so definitely need to pick up my A game if I actually want to get this top 10. Never would have thought that, seriously, when I woke up today, first, I never would have thought that uh, Natalie would be uh, in contention for a top 10, let alone me fighting her for this top 10. Anytime, my dude. Have a great rest of the night. Going for eighth? Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. If you look at my points, which is uh, right down below on the Twitch page, she is far out of the uh, playoffs. So, uh... She's going to need a miracle to happen, which, hey, if you take away that zero, she's in first. Well, I guess in the TH, but you know what I mean. Man, we were really aggressive there in those bumps. Yo.
this is my best corner right here. I feel like if it's it's now or never. I mean, I know we have two more laps. We have one more shot at it, but. Still there. All clear. There we go. All right, and that's a P10. Can we get a P8? Sewer freezing. Just got past Austin Hill. This has to be a damn fine lap and a half. Johnny Sauter's still in the lead, so I'm assuming that he's just going to run away with it. Alright, so yeah, this has to be a perfect lap for uh, in order to catch Austin Hill. Breaking news, down here drive for Mercedes F1 team. Oh, Jesus. That would be abs That would be team suicide, honestly. Hey, do you want to see a team just run themselves into the ground? All right, but yeah, last lap. I have one more shot at this. This corner has to be perfect. There we go. Perfect. P9. So as we go through uh, turn two of the uh, actual track layout and into the braking zone for the bus stop for the final time, Johnny Sauter is going to cross the stripe. <gasps> no, it's it's Todd Gillen. No, it's Johnny Sauter. Again. It's Johnny Sauter. Oh, my God, chat. For a hot second, it was Todd Gillen. Then it was Johnny Sauter. Oh, my God. I got to see the, the margin for that because, oh, that was insane. But we come on P9. Oh, my God. Johnny Sauter gets his second win of the season. But that was so close, chat. Mamma mia, pizzeria. Did you guys see that for a hot second it was Todd Gilland? Oh my gosh. Seward Friesen out of all people with the fast slap. How did that happen? You ever wonder, you ever look at something and wonder how it got there? Well, Johnny saw it right there. <laughs> Led all 50 laps. Jesus. You ever talk about domination where you lead every single lap? And Gustine, right there. Started P5 and finished 25. Yeah, let's go. All right, but yeah, let's see these finishing results. My God, Chad, they were neck and neck. Look at that. Have you ever seen two AI be so close to each other? What is that? One one thousandths of a sec. Oh, no, sorry. If I can count, that'd be great. Five one thousandths of a second. Oh my god. Or hundreds. Five one hundredths of a second. They were neck and neck right there. Jesus. Well, Natalie Decker is the first uh, truck that isn't in the top 10. Brett Moffat comes home 14th. Honestly, that's not that bad, all things considering. Um, oh man. Look at all of those that are down here. We have Ross down here. And he's not, that's not helping your championship run, my dude. Then Sheldon Creed with another DNF. This dude has DNF'd more times than than Poland has been invaded. Yeah. Might Snyder, though, with another good run there in uh, P5. Like I said, Johnny Sauter leading the most laps like that. That is just insane. I don't know how Sewer Friesen got the got the uh, fastest lap, but you know what? I'm not going to complain about that. Brandon Jones will be a seven-time uh, uh, Cup Series champion and has the same amount of experience series winning as Kyle Busch. Well, that'll be the day. I will want to see that. I will pay to see that. What universe is that in? 
Oh, and oh, okay. And same amount of Xfinity wins as Jimmy Johnson. So one. Okay. <laughs>